Hey everyone, today we're going to calibrate our retraction using Orca Slicer. As always, let's select our printer, bed type, and filament. We'll now hit calibration and click retraction test. These default settings are usually pretty good, so let's hit OK. We'll now slice our plate. Now hit print. Alright everyone, the print is completed and let's look at the results. At the bottom here, we want to find the lowest ring that still has good quality. Ring 1, over here, has lots of strings heading out on both sides. However, in my case, ring 2 doesn't have anything. Therefore, ring 2 is good enough for me. For you, this may be ring 3, ring 4, or even higher. What you want to do is take your ring count and divide it by 10 to get your factor. In my case, my ring factor will be 0 0.2. Now that we found our retraction length, let's edit our filament. Click Edit Preset head over to setting overrides, and tick the box that says length underneath retraction. Now change this to whatever you got. As I got 0 0.2 on the second ring, I'll enter 0 0.2 and save my filament. You're now done calibrating your retraction. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to calibrate your max volumetric flow rate, and you're almost done with the calibration journey. Let me know down in the comments what type of content I should make after this calibration series is over, and like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. See you then!